So that right there is a C board being played like a traditional piano. The harder he strikes the C wave surface, the more it responds. From there, he's going to go to the second dimension of touch, which is glide. And glide is the movement of his fingers left and right horizontally across the surface of the instrument. And with that glide, you're able to achieve natural vibratos and bends, just like an acoustic instrument like a guitar. And so that was glide. The next dimension of touch is slide. And so on a traditional piano, you have all of this vertical real estate that is absolutely unused. And so to make this instrument more powerful, we allow you to utilize that vertical real estate by moving your fingers up and down. And as he moves his fingers up and down, he's able to get a different sound and resonance. And so not only are you able to move your hands across the surface of the seaboard in all directions, you can actually move up and down. And so the fourth dimension of touch control is press. And press is the force with which he's pushing his fingers into the silicone key wave surface. And so as he does that, he's able to achieve very precise modulation. And so if you were to apply this to a traditional acoustic instrument like a saxophone or flute, you have really accurate breath control. And so that was 4D touch. To, bang it, to round this instrument out, we've given it five-dimensional touch. The fifth dimension is lift. And lift is really interesting. Lift is actually the speed with which he's removing his fingers from the silicone. And so as he's lifting his fingers, the instrument registers that, and it translates it into a different sound. So if I were playing like an acoustic patch, like a harp, for example, when I play a real harp, as I strike the chords and I strike the strings, the sound doesn't stop there. I can move my hands quickly to let the note draw out, or I can tamp them down to cut the note. It's the same here. And so that right there is an example of all five dimensions of touch. And those five dimensions combine together to form an extremely powerful and holistically expressive instrument. And that's what makes this so revolutionary. The Seaboard was only released in September of this past year. And since then, it's been really, really well received. Uh, only three days ago, Future Music said that the Seaboard was the product of the year. And at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, this product was actually named the most innovative computer peripheral product of 2016 up against 30,000 other products on display at the show. So we are tremendously proud about that. And this instrument is part of our mission as a company to enable connected music. But we do that through other ways too. The Seaboard is also unique because it's fully wireless. It plays MIDI over Bluetooth. It can be played with a USB cable. It also charges for up to eight hours of continuous play battery life over a USB cable. The really cool part about this is that we also released an app called Noise, and you guys can check it out right back there in the corner. Noise is a totally free app. Even if you have none of our hardware, you can download it and turn your phone into a small seaboard surface. The interesting thing is...